Hi everyone, welcome back to Eyes on Prize. I want to talk about today witchcraft. And I want to talk about five signs of witchcraft and how you can deal with it. Okay, so I'm talking about on what happened in my personal life and in, in my own experience with people doing witchcraft or sending witchcraft my way. So the first sign of witchcraft that came to me was spider. That was the first. And I did not understand at that time because I wasn't thinking no one will do anything to me because I don't really have enemies. So I wasn't thinking. So I remember I would get up in the morning to go to work. And as I open the front door, there will be this big spider web. The web was there with the spider on it at the front door. So I will kill it. I go to the back door and the same thing. This just big web like it took over the whole door outside. But it has a big, a huge spider in it. And I would just kill it because I'm not afraid of anything. So I would just kill it but not realizing that this happened for a while. And I'll keep wondering why would a spider decide to make their web right in front of my doors? It didn't make sense. And I realized that one night I was sleeping and I looked up about, I think it's about like 12 o'clock at night. I opened my, my eyes just flicked open. And when I opened my eyes, there was two black spider over my bed, over my head. And I'm looking like, how can two spider be together? It's like two together over my head. And I got up and I killed it. And that same week, I went out for my run. And I went to two different uh, different direction that week. And the first one, a car tried to spin out of control to actually run into me. And that's the same week that I saw the spider. And the second one, I went to another, on another, to another direction and in my run and the same thing happened. A car nearly, it actually ran off the road, was heading to me. And I'm like, start thinking like, okay, something is going on, but I'm not thinking. Cause I'm like, okay, could this be a coincidence? Then I realized one other thing birds everywhere I go there will be birds like a raven I can walk out my front door or out my house and I will just hear raven just making a lot of sound as soon as I enter out of my house the raven will just start making a lot of sound when I said a lot of sound a lot of sound make is like they're monitoring me and even if I go on my run out raven just will those black birds will just come out of nowhere just making a lot of sound making sound everywhere i go and it started to irritate me like why are these birds just making sound crying out like every time that i am passing by and they see me they're just making sound and i remember a third one the third one was snakes baby snakes Everywhere I go on my property, I didn't see the mama snake. There's always baby snake. I can get rid of 10 snake a day. Baby snake. Never seen the mom, never seen where they come from. Just snake always. They are, are, are always in my backyard. Always in my backyard. You never see the baby snake nowhere else, but just in my backyard near to the door. And like I said, I can get rid of 10 um, snake, baby snake, and they were always coming. I'm like, what is going on? I, I wasn't thinking. That's a third. The fourth is if you feel dust, like something throwing dust in your eyes. Yeah, that usually happened to me and I didn't understand. And when the dust go in my eye, it would burn my eyes. And I was like, no fan on, no air condition on, nothing is blowing. And it's just dust like going into my eyes and it's kind of like blinding because it burns so bad. And I was always wondering, what is this like an ashes? Uh, it is like an ashes dust, in my opinion, because it burned. And I'm like, what is going on? And I could not figure it out. And then the last one, which is spirit. If you feel or smell a dead smell in your house, get up and start praying. I remember one night I was in my bed. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. 
and I woke up to the worst stench in my house, in my bedroom, right in front of me. I could tell that there was a presence right in front of me in my while I was in my bed. And my eyes flick open, and it's like I could see it in, my, in the spirit realm. And it was over me, but it was decomposed. They sent a decomposed dead person in my house but they came to the right house because i got up in that under that anointing and that's me and that thing in my house until i got it out so be careful of these signs and don't be like me like okay no it's like uh you, you know try to look at it as it's nothing because i was thinking about it like Oh, it's just nothing. Maybe just coincidence. And everywhere, too, that I live, it doesn't matter where I live, where I, uh, my business is, birds always making nests. Everywhere I go, there's a bird making nests. My two different businesses I have in two different locations, there's always bird making nests right in front of the entryway. Doesn't matter how I get rid of the bird, the bird will come back. And this is a business uh, place. At my house, yeah, they found a way to be living at my house and i remember when i when i found the bird every year i you know i get the stuff out to remove them from where they were living on my prop on my house not on like in a tree on the house they find places to go and every time i would get rid of that get rid of the bird nest and everything that bird will come to me like he is mad i remember the last time i you know got the everything out the nest and everything out that bird was right at my door, right <laughs> at the top of this um, can canopy that I made. And it was just staring at me. And I'm thinking, the devil is a liar. You better get off my property. And it's just weird that those, those birds were stubborn. They would not go anywhere. And this is what I had to do. First, I had to go and do a three-day fasting. That's what I did. Three day fast and no food, no water. Because I wanted to know the source of why witchcraft, black magic, and all these voodoo coming to me when I, in my opinion, I do not have any enemy. And when I go in three day fasting and uh, without food or water, God, and I ask God to reveal who was doing these. Um, to me and God revealed three people three different people That actually was working black magic on me That's how I figure out who they were and then the the whatever dust that they were throwing in my eyes They were trying to blind me from the truth because they were coming to my house They were coming at my house and pretending they were friends. So whatever they were doing they, they didn't want me to see the truth of their main intention to to destroy me basically because i don't understand why somebody would want to do witchcraft on me because i'm a simple person i pray and i'm there for everybody anyone call me for help i'll be there and it, i i'm just a peaceful person so i never understand witchcraft coming to me the the, per, the purpose of people trying to do witchcraft to me so yeah i had to pray and fast on that. So I had to do a three-day fast and that's when everything was broken down. And I remember one day I was home and I felt my spirit trying to leave my body. My, my, my spirit was pulling from my body and I recognized something was wrong. And I text a friend of mine in Florida. He's a minister and I said I need you to pray for me because I feel my spirit separated from my body. And he called me and as soon as he called me, somebody was his, his employer uh, was calling him to do something and then uh, he called me back and when I was telling him everything how I was feeling and everything he said to me the one thing he said to me he said it didn't start from your house it started from your workplace where you were working that's where they started the witchcraft so it didn't come start at your house it started then don't you notice all the stuff that happened or what you just did? Just shut down your business just like that, didn't care? It started at your business, not really at your house, but they came to your house. So they have access now to your house. And when I tell you, you was praying for me. 
my head was like really hurting. Like it's like I have an instant headache and I don't have headache. And uh, it's like an instant pain, a headache come over me. And when he was praying and binding up these spirits and everything that was going on, I actually got released to from everything that was going on, but he opened my eyes for me to see where it actually started because the whole time I thought it was started at my house when someone came and put a needle in my house between my, my bathroom door, the joint, rusty needle like they have said, put water on it and just places in my, my door joint and the pointed part was out. So if that had stuck me, Imagine what would have happened to me. The second person did a, uh, uh, um, a money sacrifice when they gave me the money. And, <laughs> oh Lord, I can't understand evil people. When they gave me the money and from that, after I received the money, I went broke. And then the third one was trying to do a destiny swap with me. That's the one was coming to my house and dropping pad in my trash can every time she come she will put the pad in my trash can and i already know it's not a period pad it was something else until i bind up all these people they i've never seen them again because i didn't stop talk to them i just don't you know reach out to them and they never reach out back to me they never call me or anything as if they know i know what they're doing so it's i just wanted you to know to be careful of these signs that if you see these five signs don't take it lightly like i did and if you see any form of different witchcraft coming your way or voodoo black magic just do a three-day fasting like i did and that's how i break the cycle so now i see things clearly i see who people are because that's my gift you know God show me things before it happened and I wasn't even having vision anymore I wasn't seeing anything I wasn't having any dream because all of that was blacked blacked out from black magic because they know that I can see God allow me to see to t uh, to show his people what he's trying to say to them at time so I just wanted to share that with somebody so for those who are joining me for the first time I thank you for joining this channel. Remember to like, to share, to subscribe to this channel, comment too. Let me hear what you think and let me hear if you have a story close to what I'm talking about. Share that story with me. Uh, until next time, peace of God be with you and be blessed. Bye.